Hi Aries, this is your reading with me for the 14th to the 20th. We are going to have a look and see what is coming through. I hope you are well. And uh, yeah, so I am going to be looking at past or challenges, should I say. So challenges and then how we develop into this particular week, as well as things that you don't see coming and what's also in your near future. So we're going to really cover quite a few different aspects. And I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do giveaways every single month. Um, personal readings, personal services, intention items, everything is listed down below. Um, I also do the private readings and the energy uh, healing. I also do as well uh, rituals to manifest different areas of your life or specific things. And also there's the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with, which um, the review section for that is at the bottom of my website shopmoonlightguidance.com and there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, uh, sage bundles, teas, things that you can hang up or put under your pillow. Um, so everything you know is linked down below for your convenience. So let's have a look first and foremost um, and just really take a look as to what have been your challenges okay and then how we sort of develop into the week. So let's have a look. Okay, well, there is quite evidently a challenge energy. You've got two sevens. So sevens here shows that you cannot stop thinking about something that has gone really um, in a direction that you didn't want it to. It's just very challenging. You feel very stressed out. Someone here could have self-sabotaged things and now you're feeling the effects of things and you're just thinking like, why did they do this? We see here a very detached energy here, but this is your energy. And I feel for many of you, you just feel lost in terms of love. You're just thinking to yourself, like, why is it so difficult? Why are things not working out the way I want it to work out? And so this is your challenge going into this week. So we'll see what happens this week, obviously. The lovers clearly shows that you are ready for love. You you know what you want from a relationship. You know what you want from, you know, your standards and your values. You know who you are. And that is also the emperor energy. I just very much so feel that a person around you has just been sort of self-sabotaging themselves and creating delays in terms of progressing towards you, moving forward towards you. I see many of you also having difficulty concentrating in sort of other areas of your life, be it your career, because then you're thinking about this situation and also you may be struggling in regards to your career as well and be feeling quite overwhelmed. So let's have a look and see for the week what we have coming through. Nice. It's nice to see the Hierophant because we have a strengthening here of your root chakra. Now this means that the areas of your skeleton, your adrenal glands, um, things like you know blood for example, feet, knees, hips, teeth, they um, also nails as well. They seem to be very, very strong. So that's what I'm um, picking up on here as well. And I also see here just a lot of security and stability as well. There's a real solid um, sense of feeling much more secure this week within yourself and your emotions and also how people treat you. If someone here has literally, okay, treated you so, so badly, they're becoming a bit more stable towards you and there's a bit more consistency in their actions towards you. It's slow. It's slow and steady is what I would say. Um, here you are. Yeah, you're feeling pretty good within yourself. Yeah. Also, Queen of Wands is to do with hair, nails, skin. So definitely there are those aspects coming through, especially in regards to health. You know, I feel like some of you are working out. You're trying to eat healthy. You're trying to really take care of yourself. Um, you know, try a new hairstyle. <laughs> Get a new kind of haircut. You're feeling confident. And I think that's radiating the energy out, especially after what this person, um, you know, this opportunity, this whole situation has been very difficult. And yes, you still will think about it, but I really feel that there's so much personal growth happening to the point where it's actually helping to stabilize what has happened in the past. And you're really thinking like, wait a second, I can't stay stuck in this energy. I need to move forward. I need to take care of myself. And actually this is what's triggering um, this situation to actually work itself out this week, which actually is really, really lovely. So we've got the Ace of Wands as, you know, someone here is taking action towards you and really thinking about what they can say. They know that you're a strong person, you're a powerful person, you're a kind person, you're a giving person. They know that they are not to mess around with an energy like that. It is pretty loud and clear that they know that they shouldn't be messing around with such a person, uh, AKA you, but you know, some people are just, uh, well, they are like that sometimes. 
chariot. We're going to take this card for the near future. I only wanted one technically for um, the week, but uh, as in here, but we got two. So chariot here also shows there could be some traveling. I definitely see you raising your boundaries and your standards this week, really taking care of yourself. And I also see a lot of spiritual practice as well. Um, some of you are getting very creative. So you might be drawing, painting, uh, redecorating, things like that. But definitely the chariot is a beautiful energy here of your progressing. And someone here wants to progress towards you and to really sort of balance out the energies and to fix certain things that have been unstable okay this can be unstable contact unstable communication instability um, for some of you who really don't care about um, you know love readings this is instability also in regards to something that you really love which can be your work or your family like relationship you know so just keep that in mind as well okay so for your um, near future and what is basically coming your way uh, you know is we've got the three of wands now the three of wands is really about being patient and the three of wands is very very powerful well actually you can't you just can't make this up because temperance is patience as a virtue so <laughs> what I would say is that in the near future things are slowly but surely getting better but it's step by step and the thing is these days everyone wants instant gratification right they want things instantly ah oh, I want my dream home I want this I want that I want this I want that um but it's step by step and that's the thing is that the universe has got to get everything in order as well so that you don't you so that you also don't then you know self-sabotage things or get too overworked and overwhelmed and so the main thing here is in the near future I see a lot of spiritual practice I see you taking things slow especially in this situation as well that will really help actually because then you'll see much more consistency from this person's side you'll be able to also understand where things are going without it going so fast and you think oh my god like trying to keep up so I think one of the most important things here with the two of wands is there's also some kind of trip um, that I do see coming up I saw a trip here as well, so just keep that in mind, but definitely spiritual practice, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of patience. I know everyone's like, oh, you moonlight, you know, everyone just says the same thing, but we don't always get what we want when we want it, and that is, it's part of life, you know, that's, that's the thing. I mean, if we always got what we wanted when we wanted it, the world would be a very, very difficult place. Um, and I say that because if anyone ever has watched the Wonder Woman 1980, what was it? <laughs> the second Wonder Woman film of the modern, you know, modern times, you will see what, you know, what, if everybody got their wish would cause a heck of chaos. So a heck of a lot of chaos. Um, so the main thing here is is to know that the universe will provide because I do see more money coming your way in your near future as well. So we do see here financial growth and stability and your luck is going to change. You're going to feel so much happier, so much more secure and so much more fulfilled. And look at that, right? Queen of Pentacles, happier in your relationships, happier in terms of money, happier emotionally. I see also studying. So some of you, if, for example, if you are studying, this is about having an achievement in regards to studying and feeling so, so happy with those particular achievements and feeling um, as though things are really coming together. Um, so, I mean, wow. <laughs> wow, Aries, right? Like this is a hugely amazing reading. You're leaving these obstacles and challenges behind and what's coming in your future just cannot compare. It is so abundant. It is so prosperous. It is so beautiful. It is so exciting. Um, and it is also very, very fulfilling as well that you are just going to feel happier. You're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel just so much better. And I think that that is absolutely incredible. And we should all be celebrating the fact that you feel this way um, and that this abundance is coming your way. I see you have having a literal glow up, but I also see here a lot of spiritual stability and um, achievements coming your way and actually really doing the best that you can for yourself as well and, and just really taking care of you. Um, and then in turn, love is coming your way, money is coming your way in the near future, which is really nice to see. So this is your reading. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Um, if you claim it, you know. Um, also, everything's linked down below. There's the readings, there's the intention items, there's a free reading giveaway, there is the, what else do I offer? Oh, by the way, I also have TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on there. I post short readings on there every single day. But yeah, intention items, etc. Everything is there for your convenience and for sure, everyone, take care. And I'll see you all very soon. But it's nice to see that you're leaving a lot of these challenges behind and you are really moving forward in such a steady, beautiful way.